I just got out of the surgery. Um, look at this accessory. It's the oxygen. Um, I'm tired. But the surgery went really well. It's the second one um, because the first one we did was in Cozumel in the Cozumel Hospital. Um, okay, I can't do this video until this, this oxygen is out. I'll do it later. How beautiful is this view? That completely changes when you wake up to this. I'm not gonna go in into super details about it, but basically that's my leg. That's one, that's the other. And those are the rods that are sticking out of it, that are keeping my bones in place. I just woke up. It's been, I think, um, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's been the sixth, the sixth day that I've been in the hospital. Um, it's been a while. And I can't even get up and I'm just laying here in bed um, now I'm at least in the hospital in Miami uh, I was transferred from the hospital in Mexico to the hospital in Miami uh, this is uh, one second good morning so those were the nurses they wanted to check um, if I have any new wounds or something and I don't think I do one is enough just look decent this is a gown that i got in miami uh, hospital the one in mexico wasn't that bad either but anyways so i was uh, transferred from um, mexico hospital uh, to miami one this miami one is actually a really good hospital one of the best hospitals for orthopedic for orthopedic surgeries and uh, they actually treat uh, miami heat so if it's good for the basketball players it's definitely good for me um, the process of going from mexico to um, Miami was insane. So my, I didn't have a full cast. I just had my bone back in in place, um, and everything was just put back together. Um, and they put the light cast on, so I couldn't move my leg anyways. So what happened was um, I had to keep my leg raised up. I couldn't move it. I couldn't bend it. And um, the way I got on the plane there, because. Uh, it's a small island that really has one airport, which is really tiny and small. Um, they didn't have a ramp for me to be like taken up. So what happened was I had to sit on this tiny uh, chair with wheels, which wasn't even a wheelchair. It was just like a tiny chair with wheels that could fit in between the um, stairs to go up. Um, I'm sure there's a name for it the stairs to go up uh, to the um, airplane and my husband was basically holding my leg in the front to make sure that it's straight and two guys were holding me on the sides to put me up it was so scary you you, you, don't, you don't understand because what happens if somebody falls or it just like it was very very scary and i was in an, an extreme pain um so when we got to the um, airplane airplane um the I gotta say, I gotta say, the staff is just amazing. Everyone from the pilots to the uh, flight attendants, they were just so amazing. Even people next to me, they were so nice. They just kept saying um, how sorry they feel for me. Like only by looking at me, they feel sorry for me. <sighs> And get even more rather well people are nice human beings are nice <laughs> anyways people are very nice um, and you really don't uh, you really don't know how nice people are until you experience something like this. I just hope, you know, I just hope um, you guys 
are nice to people not only when they have this crazy surgery but just as is you know because we gotta help each other and it's just such a good good feeling to be surrounded by love but I just want us to be surrounded by love not only when you see fractures and surgeries and people with casts and stuff but just always oh, happy Valentine's Day by the way oh, well anyways when we got back to uh, Miami and uh, the other reason why we went to Miami from Cozumel was because it was only an hour flight and um, everything else to fly back to New York would take us seven about seven hours because there was supposed to be a stop ah oh, no I have something in my eye because you know I put on eyelash I have mascara fancy <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, so the reason why I didn't go to New York, straight to New York, because it would be a seven-hour flight, and it would be just way too long. I could barely do an hour and a half. So when we came to the Miami hospital, um, you know, people say that, oh, you were in Mexico, in a third, third world country, how did you do the operation there, how are the hospitals there? But I gotta say, they are pretty, pretty good. Um, when the doctors here looked at the uh, wound that was already covered, they were actually really happily surprised that it looked pretty good. Um, that the doctor did a good job. And um, I have to say that the nurses there were amazing. Those guys were just so nice. They didn't really speak a lot of English, but they tried so hard. They were like, if I was having pain, they were all over me. If uh, I needed to go to the bathroom, excuse me, they were just right there. Like they, they, it was just, it was just such a good, good feeling um, to be taken care of in a, in in the hospital that everybody thinks, oh my God, Mexican hospital. Oops, sorry, that's me because I had that and when I uh, put my arm up, it starts beeping. Um, so it was really nice. Then we got here. People here were also very, very nice. Um, and uh, after staying, so once, once we came here, we um, waited a day, like throughout the night. I slept throughout the night. I didn't eat anything before the anesthesia. Uh, and um, I didn't eat anything and then um, they uh, because they wanted to make sure that, that the surgery was supposed to be the next day so they wanted to make sure I don't eat or drink anything after midnight uh, so I didn't and the surgery started at like two o'clock uh, the surgery went well it was like the want the second surgery just to make sure that I don't have any infections uh, just to make sure that the, uh, all of the um, um just like the, all of the um i'm sorry people are texting me finding out how i am and it's really distracting <laughs> but it's nice it's very nice to have people who love you around you it's it's so important especially in the time like this it's just so important but anyways um the surgery went well they cleaned everything they made sure that everything is um is not um um swollen it, it is a little bit but we will wait um, until I get another surgery uh, to put in the metal rods to, so that bones are actually attached to each other uh, so now, right now I have these metal um, rods that are sticking out of my bones um, so that it holds the bones in place but then uh, they need to put it inside the panels that will actually keep the bones together uh, I can't obviously walk uh, I've been in bed for six days. Um, I just honestly so tired of this. I just want to be like you know, I just want to be able to go outside. And all I'm seeing right now in Miami, at least, I am looking at this beautiful um, palm trees, which is nice. Still, I'm just not being able to come out there. It's just so painful. But that's okay. I'm trying to be positive. Uh, trying to you know believe in the power of healing on my own body that um, as long as I keep strong and positive um, and have people around me that support me I will be fine um, so yeah so the doctor said that tomorrow or Friday which is gonna be if it's Friday then it's gonna be I think the eighth day that I'll be in bed I can get up and uh, we're gonna stay in Miami here for a little bit just to rest and then gonna go back to New York find good doctors and uh, do the last third surgery there so 
it's a very very long process but it is what it is unfortunately well guys uh, i wish you all lots and lots of health because that's the most important thing believe me